Between 1997 and 2008, peanut allergies in children nearly tripled. But now those numbers are significantly lower thanks to a change in recommendations for early allergen introduction. And what we found was that after the recommendations, the rates of new onset peanut allergy were significantly lower. And to just put some numbers on that, we saw a 43% reduction. That's David Hill, an attending allergist at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, who recently co-authored a study on this drop in peanut allergies since 2015. He joins the Public Health On Call podcast this week to talk about the game-changing research of the 2010s that led to a big change in allergen introduction recommendations. There were a number of studies from animal models and, and through to people that suggested that if we could introduce the immune system to food allergens in the intestine first, that in fact we might be able to protect against the development of food allergy. He explains that this is because feeding young children peanuts or peanut butter and introducing their immune system to the allergen through the gut early on is more effective at reducing allergy onset than introduction on the skin or in the air that we breathe. 